I think I'll be okay right here. Back to the seat on him. ensemble on stage is our eighth grade band and they have a luxury of actually meeting all together and that's one of the great things about eighth grade is that they've spent sixth and seventh grade meeting every other day and really focusing on fundamentals um, when we get to eighth grade we're able to put all those together and really focus on um, the learning how to play as an ensemble so you'll notice some instruments we don't have in the seventh grade band that we actually have an eighth grade band and some of these instruments are going to start to be added to the seventh grade band in the springtime we have a tuba which is the lowest sound of the ensemble so we're listening down to that tuba sound and really trying to fit our sound into um, into Tyler's sound and we had the bare tones that we have in the seventh grade band as well we have a very uh, bass clarinet which is a larger um, clarinet that the soprano clarinets are listening down to try and blend their sound into we have a French horn on the end played by Katie and um, then we've got some additional percussion instruments that are brought into through um, the music that we play in eighth grade these guys meet on every other day uh, schedule and we are um, with all both ensembles we really focus on the fundamental technique which will be beneficial for when we take it into the music and their progress into the high school band we're really excited for these guys because in the spring we're going to be able to take them to contests large ensemble contest and they're going to be able to have the opportunity to be adjudicated by a couple of um, renowned uh, college band directors, retired band directors, um, along with some other middle school groups uh, being adjudicated, adjudicated on the same time. That will be in March. So we feel very confident as this is one of our strongest eighth grades we've had in a few years and they play extremely musically very talented and have a great sound. So without further ado, we'll begin with Dance to the Sugar Plum Fairy, conducted by Mr. Matt Hayes. I know that. I like this series. Thank you. 
All right, our, uh, before our last lecture, I'd like to go make a couple introductions. First of all, um, our band program would not be possible with the support of our administration, and we're so fortunate to have a very strong administrative team at South Middle, led by Mr. Scott Swift, who is right up here. Thank you very much. greater when these guys move on up to the high school. We have a great administrative team up here as well. Uh, also next, you the parents, you're the ones who have listened to these um, students from the start of mouthpieces and Buzzy when they were in sixth grade and now they're starting to actually make um, great sounds that are putting, being put together into these um, great compositions and so you're the ones who are driving them to school, getting their, renting them their instruments, taking care of getting the equipment that they need and we really appreciate that so um, thank you for your uh, support of our program. And lastly, obviously, the work of the students because that's what Mr. Hayes and I enjoy coming to work every single day, the opportunity to work with these students. And it's thanks for you um, guys as parents who have done a fantastic job raising them. And we just get the honor to have to work with them throughout the day. So we will look forward to seeing you at our pageant of bands concert, which is our sixth through high school um, bands. And the middle school jazz band will be featured on that uh, performance in uh, the end of February. It's our pageant band's dinner, our concert and dinner, Fazoli's dinner. So that will be February 27th, 28th, the Sunday of that weekend. So we look forward to seeing you back then. Hope you have a great holiday season and we're going to end with Barbara of Seville.
take a few 